good evening children yes here we are back with our classes now um last class was on our periodic table right we had completed our periodic table i hope you have revised if not you have to and now uh, let's continue the english chapter the gift of magi i know it's quite long back right what we have uh, learned the story uh, we just stopped halfway um so let's start today uh did you forget what was the story or do you have a, at least an idea vague idea about what was the story uh, if so i'll just uh, give you uh, the to recall okay uh, for you to recall let me just give you in few sentences let's go to the story okay uh, so our first uh, what was the chapter name it was gift of magi right yeah open your textbook i'll just i i won't read it but i'll just give you a brief uh, idea about what was the story so first uh, para was all about uh, della right our character name uh, is della and she was uh, counting she was the way she tried to save a, uh, her money uh, by bargaining with the butcher man vegetable man uh, and the uh, uh, grocer groceries right whenever she is going uh, buying her groceries everywhere she used to bargain uh, unless uh, they shoot her off till that uh, they she bargain and she arrange somehow to save a bit of uh, some amount and how much was it, it was 1 dollar and 67 cent, 87 cents right and then uh, all the first para was all about it uh then the second para when you come to the second para it was like uh, she probably she was not sufficient with her um, amount what she had saved so the feelings what she had uh, like she had a very uh, sad and she was very sad and she started crying uh, she uh, fell on her dirty sofa and she was crying aloud uh, all those right what was her reaction after seeing it was a le very less amount of what she had saved right yeah after that the third para was all about the description on the um flat right the flat it was of dollar 8 and uh, the flat was uh, quite uh, it it was quite well uh, furnished but then uh, it had a beggar look right uh, so that was about all the flat description was in third para then finally uh, we have uh, the fourth para where uh, it was a uh, again uh, mm, a small description on the entrance of her house and the loneliness they were uh, uh, going through they were suffering through right uh, they had a uh, in the entrance they had a post box where no letters were there they had a calling bell but no one tried at least uh, came forward to just press it and like ring the bell that means there were no visitors uh, to come to visit them to inquire about them so all this right and there was a name board what was the name it was mr james dellinger young right that's uh, none uh, other than the husband of our della the main character now uh, this was all about fourth uh, our uh, fourth para like uh, fifth para was all about the uh, their lifestyles how they are going through uh, what uh, did uh, fifth para what is there in fifth para we see that um, Dellingham, that is Mr. James Dellingham, had a dollar thirty uh, of his salary per month. But then, due to some circumstance, there was a sudden decrease of dollar ten. That means he was uh, having dollar twenty as his salary, and which was. <coughs> sorry which was really bad right which was really uh, very difficult for them to uh, survive but still they managed how they managed to restrict themselves and to continue with a simpler lifestyles right they did not uh, from the luxurious life they suddenly started uh, restricting themselves and saving themselves and are leading a simpler life and uh, what was there was also by the end of the fifth para we could see the positiveness the optimistic 
uh, uh, you know character or view that they had right how th though they have a lot of sufferings we can see that how Della welcomed her husband uh, who is really depressed that there's no amount but still uh, Della just went uh, whenever he comes she's she is not sh shouting right she was peacefully calm uh, she just um, uh, what there's a calm approach towards his, uh, her husband right a pleasant approach and she just went hugged him and wished him and uh, uh, she uh, lets him like um, invites him into the house right it's a very uh, positive attitude towards when one person is depressed we should never again give him more depression right that was all about our story so now let's start uh, and move on to the story and let's see what's happening in further So, uh, please open your books, page number 32 again, let's start, yeah, uh, starting with 6th para, I'll just read as usual, it was, uh, we can, we'll continue the same process, right, I'll read it, then uh, underline the words, write the meaning and then explain, okay, yeah, so let me read, Della finished her cry and attended to her cheeks with the powder rag. She stood by the window and looked out duly at a grey cat walking, a grey fence in a grey background. Tomorrow would be a Christmas day and she had only $1.87 with which to buy Jim a present. She had been saving every penny she could for months. With this result, $20 a week doesn't go far. Expenses had been greater than she had calculated. They are always only dollar one point eight seven to buy a present for Jim, her Jim. Many a happy hour she had spent planning for something nice for him, something fine and rare, and sterling something just a little bit near to being worthy of the honor of being owned by Jim. So in this underline last but one line sterling s t e r l r l i n g sterling the ne uh, the meaning is just underline write down the meaning it's exciting okay sterling is exciting so let's start what does it say so sixth para here we can see that Della finished her cry and attended to her cheeks with powder rag. What does this mean? As you can see, it's a it's a time uh, where she was so depressed, right? Because she had no amount, uh, like she was crawling and she just fell down on her sofa and she was crying. That was the situation. So she, she was very sad. So she stopped crying. And what did she do? She attended. If, if you want, you can underline this also. Attended to her cheeks. That means nothing but she was crying, right? She, it was all dull and pale. So what did she do? She grabbed some powder and she applied on her cheeks. Okay. So uh, the next sentence. She stood by the window and looked out duly at a gray cat walking a gray fence in a gray background so please do underline the entire sentence or just you can put the brackets because what is this why is that saying gray cat gray fence and a gray background what is it is it all same colored or they are matching something no what does it say it's actually an interpretation for uh, the situation what she is undergoing okay so it's basically like that so gray color why uh, what do gray color usually signify it signifies sorrow okay so gray color usually signifies sorrow or sad so that's the her situation right she's sad and she's very uh, undergoing very uh, bad situation so uh, to represent that um, situation or circumstance the uh, author has given that background to show whatever she looks, uh, she uh, she may feel it as very sad. Okay, e even if she sees a very beautiful flower, she may feel it as very uh, faded color because that's her situation, right? Yeah. So uh, that's why they say this. She sh stood by the window and looked out duly at a grey cat walking a grey fence in a grey background. 
everything is sad circumstance let's go next sentence tomorrow would be a christmas and she had only dollar 1.87 with which to buy jim a present as we have we know already she had saved her amount and it was very less maybe uh, what she was thinking was a more uh, amount worth your gift but i don't think so uh, she is not having like she she could not save much amount what she had was dollar 1.87 right yeah she had been saving every penny she could for months with this result she it's not just from past one day or one week's effort it was almost from several months she was planning to save some amount to present to jim something very special and but the result was not happily accepted by her because the result was really poor right she could just save one dollar and 87 cents though she had come out of her restrictions and started bargaining and doing everything that was all now she had been saving every penny she could for months right so uh, let me go to the next uh, sentence 20 dollars a week doesn't go far that means what we uh, they, the couple had was $30, they had a luxury life, but now they are having $1.20, that's really difficult for them to manage. That's what it says. See, $20 a week doesn't go far. That means it uh, is not much for them. It just goes like this. It gets spent very easily, right? Yeah, next. Expenses had been greater than she had calculated see even now when we also right we'll calculate everything okay this month we'll just spend hundred thousand for water our personal you know pocket money but then uh, when you see within two weeks you would have uh, Kali pockets right yeah empty pockets so similarly ex expenses are never uh, like we can't uh, hold on it just goes like that okay yeah so here uh, even in her case it's the same expenses had been greater than she had expected they always are see yeah only dollar 1.87 to buy a present for jim that's the only earnings or savings that she had right yeah her gym it's not it's she had buy for jim no it's her gym so she's emphasizing the author is emphasizing it's her gym okay many a happy hour she had spent planning for something nice for him she had spent a long time like you could see uh, by her efforts only right she tried almost from several months she was planning to buy him something so the effort is from long uh, right so she is every hour so many a happy hour she had spent planning for so most of her time she spent in thinking about what to gift him what to gift him how much would it cost something worth here what will suit him right it'll be thinking and thinking she was thinking a lot something fine and rare and sterling something just a little bit near to being worthy of the honor of being owned by jim so what is this sentence saying is something fine something which is uh you know uh, reasonable okay and rare it should be rare like uh, as you can see she uh, author says it's her gym so he's very special to her right so she wants something really rare that is for a special person right yeah so rare and sterling something sterling means something exciting something very uh, attractive exciting thing just a little bit near to being worthy of honor of being owned by jim so it should be worthy how how much worthy should it be it should be almost equal to she's not expecting the same but almost it should be equal to the honor of jim what he owned right the um, uh, personality or the character or what the honor he has that uh, the value should be almost same it should be worthy for that uh, person that is jim that is what she expected now she is searching for that let's go to the next uh, para okay seventh para there was a pyre glass between the windows of the room perhaps you have seen a pyre glass in a dollar eight flat 
A very thin and a very agile person may by observing his reflection in a rapid sequence of longitudinal strips obtain a fairly accurate conception of his looks. Della being slender had mastered the art. So this you may have seen uh, this para before that let uh, we'll just underline the difficult words in the first sentence the third word pure glass what is it just write down the meaning it's hanged mirror okay and then a very thin in the second sentence you can see agile agile is nothing but active okay yeah now let's um, go through in detail so this actually this para is basically explaining uh, like the part of their house only again okay where she had uh, she could see herself let's see what it is in detail there was a pure glass between the windows of the room so there were glasses in between the windows of her room so now nowadays i don't think so we can see at your homes there's the glasses but you can see in your if you have some uh, ventilations you can see that there are glasses right in slant uh, pieces of glasses that are kept right so it similarly they had in their windows so there were a pure glass between the windows of the room perhaps you have seen a pure glass in a dollar eight flat that means that was the uh, window furniture or that was the way it was furnished right uh, in that her flat that is with worth of dollar eight a very thin and very agile person so the person if uh, the person who is uh, passing through that or um, beside that if they are thin we can see the complete reflection we can see ourselves in that small pieces of uh, glasses okay it's almost like mirror so the our reflection is falling on that glass too so we can see our uh, image on that but if the person is very thin the complete image can be seen if uh, the person is fatter the half image are seen right so here very thin and very agile person may by observing his reflection in a rapid sequence of longitudinal stripes obtain a fairly accurate conception of his look that means a fairly accurate means all means uh, almost accurately or completely we can see if they, it's a person they have mentioned it underline how should the person be a person very thin very agile uh person yeah okay yeah this is the thing so if the person is thin when we are moving we can see our reflection that's it nothing else now next sentence della being slender had mastered the art so what was della della was very thin okay she was slender so that's why she has mastered the art what that does that mean maybe she was used to it right she whenever she goes uh by besides the window she can see she could see her entire uh, same figure over there also okay yeah now uh, similarly when she was that day she was uh, when she was looking through the window and moving beside that she could see her image on those pieces of glass that's what all uh, that is all about a seventh para now let's go to the eighth suddenly she whirled from the window and stood before the glass her eyes were shining brilliantly but her face had lost its color within 20 seconds rapidly she pulled down her hair let it fall to its full length so this what does eight para say before that underline the word the third word in the first sentence world world means turned okay yeah now let's start suddenly she she whirled from the window and stood before the glass so as i told you she was just walking through uh, beside the window and she was passing by the window and suddenly she just turned from the window she could see her image right suddenly what did she do she just turned and she went and stood in front of her glasses that is her mirror her eyes were shining brilliantly what she, what did she see in her mirror her eyes were brilliantly uh, brightly shining okay so and but her face had lost its color why she was sad right so her face lost its color in 20 seconds 
rapidly she pulled so what suddenly what did she do she just pulled pulled down her tight hair and she made it fall till her length right she pulled down her hair and let it fall to its full length so what is this eighth para saying basically when she was walking uh, or passing through the window she could see her figure or her image on that a uh, pieces of or stripes of the glasses suddenly she turned from that and then she looked into her glasses she turned towards the glass and she was looking at her herself in the uh, glass and what she saw is her eyes were sparkling or her eyes were brightly shining so her eyes were uh, brightly shining so which means uh, maybe she had got some idea right she had uh, there was a uh, some idea that flashed into her mind so her eyes shined but then her within 20 seconds right within 20 seconds her face became sad so there was something with her idea something wrong we can just see what is it further and then what did she do after that she just pulled down that is let go her hair free she just removed uh, her tied hair and let it loose only fall to its full length now ninth para uh yeah let's go to the ninth para now there were two possessions of the james tellingham youngs in which they both took a mighty pride one was jim's gold watch that had been his father's and his grandfather's the other was stella's hair had the queen of sheba lived in the flat across the air shaft Della would have let her hair hang out of the window some day to dry just to depreciate her majesty's jewels and gifts had king solomon been the janitor with all his treasures piled up in the basement jim would have pulled out his watch every time he passed just to see him pluck at his beard from envy so we'll just underline it's quite a big para let's underline the word uh in the fourth line of the para you can see a word that is air shaft so air shaft is nothing but ventilations okay and next uh the last but second line janitor had king solomon been the janitor so just underline the word janitor janitor means caretaker okay so janitor is nothing but caretaker underline the word janitor meaning is caretaker yeah so that's it let's go through the chap uh, this para what does it say i'll first go through the first half of the para okay now so now there were two possessions of james tellingham young in which they both took a mighty pride so what does this say it means they had who the james tellingham young the couple had two possessions possessions means something that they uh, have the worthiest thing they have with them okay so two possessions of james tellingham young in which they both took a mighty pride they had they were very proud of uh that something what they had right one was james gold watch that had been his fathers and his grandfathers so what was one thing in that one thing was james uh jims a gold watch okay the gold watch how it's an angst ancestral watch that was his grandfathers and then it came to his father and it still carried on by jim so it's something very prestigious and very valuable right yeah and the other one was della's hair what was it the other one was her hair whose hair della's beautiful hair had the queen of sheba lived in the flat across the air shaft della would have let her hair hang out of the window some day to dry just to depreciate her majesty's jewels and gifts so what does it say this is basically uh telling about a uh, queen sheba uh you would have uh, heard about uh, another story about a queen who actually had a very long hair and she used to stand beside 
her window and she used to dry her hair which is very long and she used to just put down her hair uh, through the window to just uh, dry in the sunshine you would have learned right the beautiful long hair the, um, they are actually tell talking about that queen here similarly uh, Della so similarly was Della also she also had think she was thinking about someday putting her long hair through the window to dry and decorating while decorating uh, the hair with beautiful clips that is jewels and gifts okay her majesty's jewels and gift had king solomon been the janitor it's uh, similarly relating to the old story what i have told you about the queen uh, they were uh, king uh, solomon being the janitor that is caretaker who was the caretaker for that uh, queen was king solomon here with all his treasures piled up in the basement so king solomon who had all his uh, been uh, the janitor who had all his wealth and he used to store it in the basement and he used to just go check every time because all are his wealth right he will just go ensure that all are correct and it's not thefted and he used to go stoke or store every all of his wealth in the uh, basement similarly here you can see that jim would have pulled out his watch every time he passed right so what is it what is jim doing jim here is going and he is taking like he would always have his golden watch with his pocket and he used to always take it out pull them out and watch uh, look at it and then keep it back so out his watch every time he passed just to see him pluck at his beard from envy hmm. here you can see that uh, this para is actually uh, like relating the author is relating to a other story right you can see that uh, king solomon had uh, so much of wealth right what he had stored and he used to preserve in his basement and he used to go look it always to make sure it's safe but still he had some feelings and jealous towards our uh, queen that is sheba because her uh, he felt that somewhere uh, queen sheba's uh, long beautiful hair was uh, more worthier or valuable than his uh, uh, stored wealth similarly here they are trying uh, to convey the author is trying to convey similarly here jim he if he was in place of solomon looking at uh, della's beautiful hair and his golden watch what would he do is just pluck his beard because of that jealousy what he's created within him yeah so now let's start the 10th para so now Della's beautiful hair fell about her rippling and shining like a cascade of brown water. It reached below her knee and made itself almost a garment for her and then she did it up again nervously and quickly. Once she flattered her flattered for a minute and stood still while a tear or two splashed on the worn red carpet. So this is the 10th para. Let's start. Just underline the word in the second line uh, that is cascade. Cascade is nothing but waterfall. Next third line you have garment. Garment you know right. Garment is nothing but the cloth that basically cover your body. Next. Did it up. Underline the set of word did it up in same third uh, line only the second uh, third line and then she did it up again that means she tied it up again she put back her hair or tied back her hair again and then last but one the next uh, last but one line just underline the word faltered that means moved okay yeah let's go through it. Uh, so now Della's beautiful hair fell about her rippling and shining like a cascade of brown waters. So what does uh, the sentence say? It says when she opened her hair and let go it fall down. It was like a beautiful waterfall, a brown waterfall uh, like flowing right Water, uh, waterfall. It looked like same. So it was so beautiful. It was rippling and shining. 
it was shining and rippling like as if a waterfall a brown waterfall was flowing there similarly next it reached below her knee how much how long was it it reached below her knee uh, her knee and it's uh, almost itself a made a garment for her so it actually covered the her body it was so thick and so long that she, it made a uh, it it used to cover her next and then she did it up again nervously and quickly so what did she do after seeing all these things uh, she just again uh, just grabbed all her hair and she tied up it uh, as it was before just she uh, tied it up again nervously and quickly okay she was very quickly she tied it up and she was a bit nervous once she faltered for a minute and stood still while a tear or two splashed on the worn red carpet so here again you can see that she faltered for a minute she was uh, just she moved or she just moved for a one minute uh, and then she stood still okay that's because maybe uh, she just got shocked or she was just stunned and she just stood for a minute and what did she do she saw that a tear or two just came or dropped down or rolled down from her eyes and where did it fall on her red worn carpet so this is uh, saying that uh, though it was a beautiful scene what she was uh, seeing through the uh, her mirror but still she had what she was not happy but what was her situation was she was having some sort of feelings and uh, some uh, disturbance within her that's why uh, we'll see later on what was that so for now let's stop the class i hope this is uh, enough conclude the class here mm, i hope mm, it was very, really interesting right the story and you may be curious enough i think so uh, let's wind up here and now i'll just recall uh, again uh, the story till now uh, do you want it from first i'll just uh, go through from what we have done today okay um yeah so what was the situation in para 6 you could see that uh, her sad or uh, she was very crying and she stopped crying and she uh, just uh, made herself uh, ready like uh, she stopped crying she start uh, she just grabbed some powder and put on her face or cheeks and um, then uh, she stood uh, she was looking through the window and she what she could see was all sad uh like a gray colored uh, cat on a gray uh back uh, fence walking on a, a gray fence in a gray background which is her sorrow situation uh and then uh that was all because of her uh less savings what she could do uh and then we can see that why was uh, uh she saving everything is revealed here it was nothing else to present something that is worth here to uh, the value of gym so she wants something at least uh, nearing uh, to uh, the real uh, that actually uh, that is worth here that is almost uh, like it should match with the gym's honor next seventh para is all about the what she is looking into right she when we was she was walking through uh, she could see in her windows she could see pieces of gla uh, glass strips uh, wh where she could see her figure or her image on that and then suddenly in the next para you can see that she suddenly uh, just turned from window and turned towards her uh, mirror and she could see a sparkling eyes that means she got suddenly some idea stroke into her mind or flashed into her mind and what was it uh, she just looked through the window so after flashing uh, though she got uh, some idea uh, to buy a present for jim uh, or to uh, way to gain some amount but still there was a sad feelings or emotion within her that's why uh, she felt her face though she her eyes were bright uh, but her face became dull soon after 20 seconds next uh that was all about the eighth uh, and then what did she do after seeing all this she just uh, uh, removed her tied hair and let it flow to its full length 
and in ninth paragraph uh, it's talking about the positions that they had this couple young couple had two main uh, imp uh, uh, things that they possessed and that they uh, really uh, which means a lot to them and they think that's the worthiest thing so what was it it's uh, one was james gold watch and the other was della's long beautiful hair so these two things were very uh, worthiest things that they possessed uh, james golden watch was uh, really uh, worthy uh, he 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 was uh, taking it as really uh, he considered it as very worthiest thing because it was his ancestral ancestral watch right it was his grandfather's and then became his father's now he is handling it and uh, there is also in ninth para you can see uh, another story that author is trying to relate uh, to this uh, couple uh, life what is it it's uh, queen seba uh, shebas and uh, um, solomon king solomon's story where uh, they possessed a worthy thing where um, king uh, sorry queen sheba had a long beautiful hair where she used to dry it uh, uh, like by dropping through the window and uh, similarly uh, king uh, solomon used to sh uh, uh, take all his wealth and he used to store it in his basement and he used to go check every time if it's uh, safe but then uh, some uh, where he felt that queen Seb uh, sheba's hair was more uh, valuable or uh, more worthy than his uh, thing so similarly uh, here they are just author is trying to relate it with the situation of uh, jim uh, whenever he sees uh, della's beautiful long hair uh, even uh, he just pulls out his watch every time and he just looks at it and then uh, when he feels that uh, envy that means that uh, uh, jealousiness when uh, looking at della's uh, beautiful hair what if he was in place of solomon what he could do was just pluck his beard and then in 10th para we can see that uh, its description about all about the della's beautiful hair it was like a brown cascade with all shining and uh, rippling right it was rippling and shining it was like a beautiful brown waterfall right cascade is nothing but waterfall and then uh, if we, uh, and it's describing about the length and breadth how would it was right its appearance the hair was till it was long uh, to reach her knee and it had almost covered her body so it was like a garment for della and then so it means it was so long and so uh, beautiful and it was so thick enough the next uh, is again uh, her situation again what did she do after looking all this it though it was a happy sight to look uh, uh, her through the uh, herself through the mirror uh, still uh, she had some uh, sadness what did she do she just grabbed all the hair uh, quickly and she uh, just put it up again she just tied it up again and then she could see that one or two drops of her uh, uh, tears fell down or rolled down through her eyes and f uh, fell on the worn red carpet so this is uh, today's class so i just uh, went through whatever we have uh, done so i hope this is enough uh, please do uh, study or go through it again just read the story again till whatever we have done uh, underlined words uh, just make a note of these underlined word and its meanings it's very important mm, yeah let's see in the next class thank you